Can I upcycle these pair of pants? And I just put the hot button and say, in case if you just want to see the DIY alone, skip ahead to this time. Yep, skip to that time. She's a goodie. Happy Vlogmas Day 9! And also, it snowed! We have a white Chris. Wow, it's really high exposure. So this morning, we're gonna be having, well, I guess, you have, always have breakfast in the morning. So we're gonna have egg, and then my mom got some bonus smoked ham slices, so we're also gonna have ham. We haven't had ham in a while, so we are not like the book. The ham that I just browned, literally with no oil or butter, just that and a tiny bit of sugar. And then egg, rice, Filipino, Asiago. Why do you have to buy this? <laughs> um, tater tots. And then coffee. For chocolate. We want to eat it today? Oh, we can have two, Mom. We can have one each! Because we didn't do it for yesterday and we didn't do it today yet. So we couldn't do it one handed because no, no way. So there's num day number eight for yesterday and then day number nine for today. Ah! Love Reese's Pieces. Wait, what? I keep saying love does Reese. <laughs> Next. Uh, I was gonna have ramen, but then I was like, you know what? We can cook. We'll have some shrimp and mussel pasta. So it, it's the same recipe as before in a previous video. So just that one, and then I'm just adding mussels. That's it. Okay, three, two, one. This is the finished pasta with the shrimp and the mussels and just a piece of bread. So this is my mom's, this is mine, and we're just watching an old episode of Glee Christmas. Okay, we're gonna eat. Also, this is the view for our backyard. Oh, you can see me, don't you? But we have the, we have a few like pine trees in our um, backyard with all the snow, cause it snowed again today. Love this. Gonna eat, I'm hungry. Bye. This is literally almost the worst lighting I've ever had. Wow, you know what? What lighting can really do? Also, I'll link this down below. I don't think she got it from Amazon. I'll link like the exact brand down below. So the ring light that I have is like a tabletop one, and I got it from my from one of my best friends, Kate, for my birthday uh, last year when she threw me a surprise party. Kate, if you're watching this, I still love you, girl, for that. I just had pasta. I'm so full, but I could still eat more because I love eating. Um, I'm currently just gonna clean up my desk because I actually. This is the first ever DIY for Christmas ever. I did have planned stuff before, but because of our deadlines being so close to literally like November 30 and continuing into December, I was like, N -n not it. The first DIY is gonna be today. Now we have a Santa hat on, but I don't have any Santa hat on. This is a Santa hat. I think I showed it in Vlogmas Day too. It's not just a Santa hat with some bells on it, but it is also a Christmas tree. Yeah. What up everyone? I'm Eli from That's So Eli. Actually, should I still say the intro? Because this is kind of a DIY, but also still a vlog. It's kind of a bit of both, so I'm kind of confused. So in the spirit of Christmas, I feel like I should have some stockings in the back. I know it's not a fireplace, but roll with me here. Just roll with me here. Now, I don't know about you during quarantine, but for me, honestly, sometimes pants don't fit like they used to if you know what I mean. I'm looking at these pair of pants that honestly I still like, I just they just don't fit me. So what I was thinking, since I really suck the corduroy material, ooh, my lips so shiny. So in today's video, I'll be making some stockings from a pair of old pants. Yes, yes I am. Now just before we continue seeing me turn these pair of old pants into some lovely stockings, feel free to like down below and subscribe, and then maybe leave a comment how you're spending the holidays, and let's get on to the video. So the very first step and what I'll be doing is taking the pair of pants, cut out an outline, cut out an outline. I don't know if I want to do like four all across the lights or three. I don't know like the if I want them long or short. 
But yeah, so I will take that first and then cut out a template and then do it. So just a quick tip. So as I'm making the template for the stocking, not so important for the top part, also watch watching Sierra's vlog. For how the stocking is like a stock and then it curves at the bottom. You don't want it to go any wider than the extent of it. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're making or when you have the, the stocking template, you don't want it to go too, too wide. Rather than just gluing it edge to edge, it'll look like just that. Glue it in a way so that a tiny bit of it is folded inward. How do we do this with one hand? Both pieces are folded in so that when you fold it on, it looks a lot cleaner and less like I just cut a pair of pants to make this. Yeah. What do you do for Never mind, the hot gun is not hot enough. As this heats up, but the top portion of a stocking, I don't know the name, but the edge of it. Faux fur that I got, I think it was literally, I got it from Walmart. The same fur that I used for the Christmas tree. And knowing me in grade 10, I would have probably bought this at either Walmart or dollar stores. So either one of those, this is how much I have left. It's somewhere between, around, like around three inches. And then so I'm, I'm gonna have it three inches deep and then just however uh, long the width of the stocking is at the top. The, on the very back, I've, I've, I glued down the edges. Uh. When we glue both sides, it'll be a lot cleaner on the edge. I'm just going to continue gluing and putting it on, well, each other. And then afterwards, I'll do again for the four stockings. I just have to add the fur on top. And then for to hang the stocking part, I don't know what the, if it has a name, I'm gonna cut off the belt strap, belt things. The thing that the way belt goes through, love. I'm honestly so proud of it. Honestly, looking at the, and actually, I'll grab one. I'll get these one. So honestly, when I had the idea in my head to take a pair of pants and make a stocking, boy, stupid. So even having the little detail of having the uh, belt strap hung on the back of my bed, I don't have to change my beddings because like the blue and the brown later on. But I guess this concludes for today's video. Honestly, let me know how you, how you feel about this setup. It was less the usual DIY videos that I usually do, but it was more chill, more relaxed. It makes editing a lot easier. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and see you in tomorrow's vlog. of the day, don't burn yourself with a hot glue gun, because it will hurt.